I'm Tony Gissings from the Rocket Reel Company and we're doing a series of uh, six short videos explaining the mysteries of the multiply reel. We'll be taking a reel to pieces and through the series we'll be doing other things, obviously putting things back together again, setting the reel up and eventually talking about tuning the reel, how you set it up for fishing or for tournament casting or whatever else you want to do with it. So we have our reel clean, lubricated and going very, very quickly, which is great. A lot of guys on tournament fields like the reels to run as quickly as possible. However, Rocket Field itself, which has <laughs> now been on the market for 26 years, uh, we brought it out because of what we call liquid control, which is that it allows you to cast freely um, but still have a control over the bearings because if it's going too quick then all you're going to get are the dreaded bird's nests. Right, let's have a look here at the spool and let's have a look at what the options are. Okay, we have on this side our mag control. Now the mag control is great. Um, if you're on grass I would recommend probably and turning it by turn, turn and a half because with the great amount of speed that you get over, over when casting over grass, um, if it isn't set up right, you can get a little bit of vibration. That's caused by the fact that the eddy current is so strong. Just backwind the mag off a little bit and that'll disappear. What are the options for tuning the reel? Now, I haven't actually got any brake blocks here, but here we have a two pin brake block holder. The old centrifugal brake block system was invented by Abbey, I believe in 1948. And subsequent to that, they won an awful lot of the light line uh, world casting championships. Now, um, some people no longer like them. Uh, they're very, very secure for fishing. We would recommend that if you want this reel to be used for fishing, what we're going to do is to lubricate with a little bit of our famous old-fashioned rocket fuel yellow label, the original one, and then what we're going to do is to use one mag, one, one brake block, and then also, also the mag as well. So, because what you want, if you're fishing, you want to be casting as far as you possibly can, but you don't want any hassle with bird, birdiness. So there we are. So what we're going to do now is how much, how much oil do I put on them? Okay. Here are the bearings, and all we're going to do is get one little drip and scoot it round there. Because this is the first time they've been lubricated, we're going to flip them over and go one more the other side. Now, real oil has been around for a lot for say for 26 years and has got so many casting records attached to it. A lot of very, very good casters, including some of the best in the world, use it. So what we're going to do, we've now got yellow label on the bearings. Pop them back together again. That's all you need. You can actually, once you've got the, got the bearings lubricated, to top up, just use one of our regular bottles, which has got a, a one-drop nozzle on it, just for a little bit. Um, Say so if you just put a, literally half a drop, a drop every time you go fishing, that'll just keep on top of it, and you won't have any issues. The only time the you'll know when it is, because when you, your reel starts speeding up too much, that you'll uh, you'll realise that you've got a little bit of a problem, and that you need to get the old bottle out again. Okay, so here we are. Super strong circlips don't come off. <laughs> All right, and back onto here. Now we haven't got any blocks with us for this purpose, but the brake blocks go on here or here. And then back together again. Gently start squeezing them up. It's easy if you do three screws alternate to make sure they're all located properly before you tighten, don't just tighten one up, tighten all three separately. Okay, now, same reel, but all of a sudden, 
a lot more docile. Compare it to something like this one, which once again is set up for the people that want to have them running as quickly as possible. Okay, let's wind the mag down on that one. So on here, we've now got a controllable fishing reel. If you have the mag on full, which is on here for fishing, that's really enough in any case. But I say for added insurance, stick a little tiny block in the end as well. To have a reel running incredibly fast is wonderful for a lot of guys over grass who rely on the mag controls. But if you're fishing all day long, you want something that's going to be give you absolutely maximum performance and no trouble. And this is where yellow label rocket fuel comes in. It's been on the go for 26 years. Ain't broken, we aren't gonna fix it. For the bigger reels, you may care to use the red label. Some people, we also have got the tournament for casting over grass with. Some people like to mix and match, uh, it's up to the individual. But the essential thing is to have your reel tuned in such a way that it's not going to give you any trouble. You want to be able to go over the grass and hit it to your maximum. Or if you're on the beach, you want to be fishing all day long without any worries about your reel blowing up. <laughs>